Grey's Anatomy is currently in the middle of season 20, making it the longest running US medical drama on TV. It's been a ratings hit since its launch back in 2005. Fans have avidly followed the lives of the doctors who work at fictional Seattle Grace, now renamed Gray Sloan Memorial following that plane crash. They've battled cancer, watched loved ones die, met new siblings, romanced each other in the on-call room, and even survived an exploding bomb hidden in a body. Here's some trivia you may not know about the hit medical drama and its attractive doctors. Number one, all of the original interns have had surgery on the show. Meredith Grey, Christina Yang, Alex Karev, George O'Malley, and Izzy Stevens have had surgery at some point in the series. Meredith for liver donation to her father, an appendectomy, the surgeries to save her life after being attacked by a patient, and a C-section, Christina for an ectopic pregnancy rupture, Alex for the gunshot, George after he got hit by a bus, and Izzy for her cancer. Number two, every episode of Grey's Anatomy is named after a song, except one. Since the very first episode, A Hard Day's Night, named after the Beatles song, every episode has shared a name with a song title, including everything from Public Enemy's Fight the Power to Elmo and Patsy's Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer. The one exception so far was a season 14 episode titled 1-800-799-7233, the real-life hotline to report domestic violence, which was the premise of the episode. Number three, Sarah Drew went into labor within hours after her character did. Sarah Drew, the actress who plays Dr. April Kepner, was pregnant at the same time as her character. While that's nothing new for Hollywood, this one actually is. After shooting a labor and birth scene in character the day before, Drew herself went into labor. This came as quite the shock as she wasn't scheduled to give birth for another three and a half weeks. Thankfully, after 11 stressful days in a neonatal intensive care unit, the actress went home with a newborn daughter named Hannah. Maybe all that fake pushing she did on set tricked her baby into thinking it was time to come out. Number four, Meredith Grey's childhood home is a real house in Queen Anne, Seattle. Queen Anne is one of the most expensive areas of Seattle, but the house where Meredith and an ever-rotating cast of friends and fellow doctors live is located on the top of the affluent hill. The house on the show is located at the fictional 613 Harper Lane and in real life at 303 Comstock Street. It's affordable because Meredith inherited the house from her mother. Number five, the blood and guts on Grey's Anatomy are real, but it's not human blood and guts, it's cow organs. They also use cow blood, red jello, and chicken fat to make all of those surgical scenes look extra realistic. The smell, according to some of the actors, is quite repulsive. Number six, Rob Lowe was offered McDreamy. Rob Lowe was offered the part before Patrick Dempsey was, but turned it down to make the short-lived drama, Dr. Vegas, instead. But Lowe has no regrets. Another actor who read for McDreamy? Isaiah Washington, who went on to play Dr. Preston Burke. Number seven. Grey's Anatomy's musical episode was inspired by actress Sarah Ramirez. Immediately before joining the Grey's clan as Dr. Callie Torres, Ramirez took home a Tony Award for Best Featured Actress in a Musical. Her appearance as Lady of the Lake in Spamalot earned her a lot of musical accolades, which inspired Rhymes to use her chops in a musical episode she had long been thinking about. The episode Song Beneath the Song is generally not considered one of Grey's best, but Ramirez got rave reviews. Number eight, you could have bought Derek and Meredith a wedding present. In 2009, when Meredith and McDreamy finally decided to get married, a real-life wedding registry for the couple was created on the website The Knot. Instead of buying the shepherd's matching dinnerware or a set of saucepans, however, fans could donate via the registry to research organizations, including the Alzheimer's Association. Number nine, Oscar-winning actor Denzel Washington directed one of the show's grittiest episodes. Washington, who directed the Academy Award-nominated movie Fences, helmed the season 12 episode The Sound of Silence, in which Meredith is brutally attacked by a patient at Grace Lone Hospital and left unable to hear. Number 10, 
And there was a Grey's Anatomy video game, and it was pretty terrible. Yes, you don't have to just imagine what it is like to be Meredith. Thanks to Ubisoft Games, you could be her in the Grey's Anatomy official video game. Released in 2009, the game allows you to play as one of the main characters and decide what to do when a crisis unfolds at the hospital. None of the show's stars provided the voices for characters, such as Derek Shepard, George O'Malley, Meredith, Christina, and Izzy, which is disappointing. And the game itself is really dull. But you sometimes get the chance to cut into patients' brains, which you'd usually need a medical degree for. So that's 10 facts about Grey's Anatomy that you may or may not have known. Thanks for watching, and be sure to stay tuned for more facts about our favorite shows.